This Debaco University video is going to go over an efficient way to fertilize your plants. This is going to look specifically at a fertigation setup and explanation using a dositron system, though any chemical injector could be supplemented other than the name brand dositrons that you'll see here. Now, as mentioned before, dositron is simply the name brand for a chemical injector. Uh, this is often considered to be the industry standard um, and typically used in many greenhouse situations, but there are other brands if you search for them. This works in a similar way to most of the other chemical injectors. It is a water-powered, non-electric chemical injector. It's, uh, so it makes it very uh, great for transportation, for moving around. You can make it portable. In this case, they're in a fixed position, but there's basically the power of water that's supplied through the irrigation lines is what powers them. This offers an easy and reliable way to accurately inject chemicals into the water lines and fertilizers. This class of injectors works by using a volumetric proportioning, uh, which helps maintain consistent mixing rates despite changes that may occur in water pressure or in water flow. So how does it actually work? Well, if we're kind of looking at the exact kind of uh, method here, this is uh, the dose to try in here, we can see area one is the water flow. So your water's flowing in here from the left to right. The water enters the dositron body right here. The concentrate is then pulled up through the dositron, through the, you'd have a tank down here and it'd be pulled up. The concentrate mixes with the incoming water in this chamber right here. And then the blended solution is discarded out into the water line. So you'll hear this kind of like click, click, click um, in the video that Connor's going to show us. And that's basically what that clicking noise is, is this kind of piston moving up and down, moving up to bring up that concentrate and going down, mixing it with the water and then ensuring that the consistent dosing is going out the lines from the concentrated solution here. Now, in this case, it's being hooked up to a drip or emitter irrigation system. Each container has a dedicated emitter that can involve multiple outlets, which are especially important for larger container uh, plants. However, be sure there are, you're checking uh, for sediments and any clogs that may occur in the system, uh, because while this is very efficient, uh, there can be clogs that can occur, especially on long runs in a greenhouse situation. Now the dositron system, as I said, could be fixed on the wall or actually uh, can be very mobile. It's a very efficient method for dosing fertilizer from stock tanks. This reduces the need to mix fertilizers daily and can also ensure consistency of nutrients delivered to the plants. These are water-driven piston pumps that can be set at, to a ratio and adjust to the flow of water. So if you have an uneven water pressure, they will adjust to ensure you're not over or under fertilizing. There will also be familiar click sound that will ensure the proper functioning can alert you uh, to when something may not be right. Maybe you're noticing that drop in water pressure or water flow. Maybe there's a um, filter that's clogged. These are all little indications. Once you get to know what the normal is, you'll be able easily to tell what the abnormal is. Check valves are recommended or often required to prevent backflow if you're using a public water supply. So again, just keep that note in mind. Now there's also more than fertilizer, you can also uh, clean uh, through them. So this system can be used for fertilizing plants as we see just a couple example nutrients here. The same system could also be used for a line cleaner. As we'll hear Connor mention that when you're trying to prevent those clogs, prevent any sort of buildup of particulate matter, you can take these out and you can put it through a line cleaner and then clean all the lines out as well. So again, offers great efficiency. Now, there are importance for filters, so not just a chemical form of cleaning, but filters are important. Pre-filters should be installed to catch anything that comes in the lines before it reaches the dositron system. Intake filters are basically at the very ends or at the bottom, as we can see down here in the concentrate, um, and there are tubes that connect to that fertilizer, so there should be a filter here, there should be a filter here, and there should even be post filters that can be installed to ensure no large particulate goes out the emitters from the dositron. I'd rather clog filters and change the filters out than have to worry about clogging all of my lines downstream of this. So filters, while they might seem a little annoying if they're clogging, I'd rather they're very easy to clean, uh, get into a pattern, then going through and clogging your entire system. 
So here's a little bit about the background of the system you're going to see here. Uh, it's a part A, B, and C uh, system. A is just a general fertilizer of 15, 12, 26. Part B is a calcium nitrate, 15, 0, 0. So that's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Bloom bust booster here, 10, 20, 30. 10% uh, nitrogen, 30% phosphorus, 20% potassium. And then when needed, this root drip to kind of clean the lines here uh, can also be added through this efficient dositron chemi-injecting system. So be sure to check the product label for uh, suggested dosing. Typically, it's stated for a 1 to 100 ratio, which is what the dosatrons are often set at, and that's what we'll see here. Uh, it says here, I add 13 ounces of fertilizer to be added per gallon to the stock feeding tank. So that's going to be your concentrated mix. Given this standard ratio, it also makes it easier for growers to make adjustments. For example, if you want to inject at a 1 to 200 ratio, you double the concentration. Or if you had a 1 to 50 ratio, you basically have the concentration as stated. So we've talked about it enough. Let's see in action. Let's hear Connor go through the system set up here. Uh, so you can see and get familiar with that clicking sound and kind of walk us through this system so you can see it in action now that you've learned about the basics. Enjoy. How's everybody doing today? Um, so today we are looking at our dosatron. This is our nutrient delivery system. And this is how we pushed our nutrients out to the greenhouse without having to constantly mix new nutrients every day. Um, we have three tanks, part A, part B, and our bloom. Our part A is a general uh, kind of growing ratio, um, mostly fa favoring the potassium and the phosphorus. Our part B is a calcium nitrate, high in nitrogen. This is our, for our green growth. And then if we look over here, our bloom is a simple one, three, two mix. And this is mostly for flower. We turn this on for our flowering growth. And um, how does it work? Well, the dosatron has three pistons. Each piston is connected to our reservoir tanks. And there's no electricity involved. It's all powered by the flow of water. So water comes in through our intake, goes through the dosatron. And the piston right here, as the, water, the force of the water goes through it, the piston shoots up, releases a certain amount that you can set right here of our nutrients into our mainstream of water. And so you can have, uh, for my setup, we can have three pistons going at once, pushing in three different types of nutrients. Um, it's very cool, it's very efficient, and you don't have to constantly be filling every day or every few days new nutrients because you're running out so much. You, you can just use this and use your main water supply and just push it all right out to the greenhouse. Now, some things that may happen when using a dosatron and the irrigation lines that we have out in the, the greenhouse, you may get clogs. And when getting clogs, you can also use the dosatron to correct those clogs. Um, right here we have hypochlorous acid, um, root drip it's called. And you can actually set the dosatron to the root drip solution. So you can accurately dose your water with your hypochlorous acid and that will push everything out through your irrigation lines. Not only that, it's safe for your roots, so it'll clean the roots as well, along with pushing everything out through the lines. Um, the dosatron is very useful because it can be used for a variety of things, not just nutrients. Like the irrigation line cleaner, you can also put, say, a foliar spray or a, some type of spray for insect control. And you can actually set the dosatron, make your own tank, and just use your dosatron out in the greenhouse, which is very useful and time saving. Um, so I'm gonna turn it on for you guys and you can listen to the satisfying click that these pistons make as it pushes in our nutrients into our water. This is our, our bypass switch. So this controls water going in. If this is closed, it goes through the dosatron. If it's open, it skips the dosatron and I just get plain water out into the greenhouse. And that's just some air bubbles working its way through the dosatron. Now you just listen. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty simple when you think about it. Um, 
One thing to note is that each outtake of the Dosatron has filters. So in here, you can actually unscrew. There's filters in there that prevent any particulates from getting into the Dosatron and messing with the system. On the end of our tubes, we have filters. On the very bottom, in the tubes, that prevents anything from our nutrients getting in. And we don't have it installed currently, but there would also be a filter in here that would filter out anything coming out of the Dosatron into the greenhouse. Along with that, we have filters I know, a lot of filters. More filters on the uh, outtakes in the actual greenhouse. So there's a lot of filtration going on and that's to try to avoid that buildup in our drip lines that we use our hypochlorous acid to fix. Another thing to note when using the Dosatron, um, especially with your nutrients and your other concentrates that you're putting in your tanks, is that oftentimes the labels will have Dosatron concentrations and ratios already printed and figured out for you. So for example, here on my JAX Part A, we have a, for injectors at a 1 100th ratio, which we are all set. We have 1% of this solution going through into our main um, water supply. So for our JAX Part A, we would have 13 ounces per gallon of stock in this tank and that ratio would be the correct amount to accurately dose our entire greenhouse and yeah that's the dosage <laughs>